What's up, everyone? All right, today I'm going to talk to you about Update Duck, which is a software that's very similar to Tracking Pigeon. And the cool thing about this is I actually know the person who's developed it. So Update Duck is software that links up to your email and it links up to your eBay account, and it autom automates the tracking uploaded process. And the cool thing about this is because I actually know the developer, I know that it's like it's going to continuously evolve and also that if it doesn't work with the source yet then you can message them and they're going to actually work with you to try and figure out how to get your source to work so it's definitely something that i know that the team's going to be more responsive than other software and i'm going to do a video showing how to sign up for it and i'm using it moving forward so i've helped um i helped with the beta of update duck and it updated like 500 of my orders and it it works so this is the main website, and like I said, it's, it's tracking uploading. So when it's working properly, you're not going to have to upload your tracking numbers anymore, which is awesome. They've got a really cool website. Like if you check it out, there's a lot of information on it. It shows you all about the features. It's mobile friendly. It costs 12 bucks a month. It's compatible with Walmart, Sears, Overstock, eBay. And I like because they kind of explain a little bit about how it actually works which is cool because a lot of times there's these websites tend to be kind of minimal um, so it explains that okay depending on how busy our system is we check every 10 to 30 minutes detect an email that could contain tracking information analyze it extract it connect to eBay it like tells you okay first it does this then this then this then this and then this is the most important part we keep adding new suppliers to our system and we are happy to accept your suggestions it is important that your supplier does note the shipping details clearly in a confirmation email so what this means is that the tracking number needs to be in an email email. Um, one of the reasons that this doesn't do Amazon yet is because uh, Amazon often, like you have to actually log into your Amazon account in order to get the tracking number. So that makes it much harder. Um, so if you're using a source that doesn't work with this yet, but it does give you a confirmation email that includes the tracking number when it's shipped, then it's likely that they're going to be able to add that into their system pretty easily. Okay. So now let's uh, sign up. I think sign up at the bottom. Yep. Create an account. Bum, 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 bum. All right. My name is Jack. Here's all my deets. Awesome. Now I need to go into my email. So I haven't actually signed up for this before <laughs> because it was I just kind of gave them the keys to set it up. So now I'm doing everything through the front end. I'm pretty impressed with the website. It's quite good. My buyer opened a request. Oh, no. Confirm email. So for those of you who don't know, um, this is developed by uh, somebody I met at Grindcamp, actually. His name's Sylvan. I think it's Sylvan and, like, one or two other people. Um, okay, sweet. And it's really cool that, like, Grindcamp, man, that event, like, changed so many things about my life. Um, I'm going to do a video later about kind of how I feel about Grindcamp months later. But that's another time. For now, we're going to show you how to sign up for this and how to link it into your... What? Um, and how to link it into your uh, eBay account. So first, what you need to do is set up your payments. So we're going to subscribe here. And we're going to use PayPal. Oh, it's free for the first five days. Okay. That's good to know. So it's basically a free trial. So what that means is that you could you could use this and then just cancel your billing agreement. And then as long as you do it within five days, say that you don't like it or whatever, there's some assurance that, okay, I can try this out for a little bit and then not have to worry about anything, right? Okay, sweet. Review Kyandu Limited. Review your payment. Good, good, good. I agree. So there's effectively a five-day free trial, or four days and 23 hours, or however long it is. Okay, sweet. So we should now, if we go 
here to the home page we want to do is go to home I think sorry I'm not I'm not actually used to navigating the website yet so bear with me get started I already created my account how do I log in log in okay let's return to this maybe that'll work bum 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 yeah here we go Okay, so the main page is called system.updateduck.com. So system.updateduck.com. Awesome, perfect. Okay, so we now have activated the account. We've, we've uh, made the link to PayPal. So now what we need to do is link our eBay account and our Gmail account. So first we're gonna link our eBay account. And this is really simple. Basically, you just you just log into eBay through Update Duck, and then Update Duck grabs your eBay keys so that it knows which eBay account to post it to. So we're gonna go in here. And then we're gonna log into our eBay and do the same thing. So I just agreed. And now I'm giving Update Duck, there we go. It's now linked to my eBay account, so now we're gonna link it to my Gmail account. And what's gonna be interesting here is that, okay, so I talked to Sylvan, and as you guys know, I have multiple accounts. Um, so from the Pricematic series, I get emails from that eBay account, which is the one I'm using this for. And then on the other account, I get emails from my other sales. So I was told that it'll still work fine, which is good. It's basically just going to mean that there's a lot of uh, orders that don't get updated because they're from the other account, and Update Duck won't be able to find them on this account because this account only has like a tenth of my actual orders. The rest are all on my bulk account, right? Okay, so what's my password? Oh, man. I really need to write my passwords down instead of just relying on my floggy memory. Allow. Haha, fantastic. Okay, cool. So now we have linked the account to eBay and we've linked the account to our Gmail. So next what we need to do is look at some of the settings. Okay, send me a notification email about successes and errors. Okay, good, good, good. I'm fine with that. So, ooh, there's an instruction section. I probably should have looked at that first. No, I did the same thing. So, okay, step one, PayPal, Gmail, eBay. Awesome. So this is really easy to set up. Okay, and it says, so if you are interested in adding more, like say that you're you're watching this and you're using a supplier that isn't Walmart, Sears, Overstock, Target, Academy, or Kmart, um, all you need to do is forward an email from your source that contains the tracking numbers, or sorry, two emails from your source to request at updateduck.com, which is this here. And then they'll have a look and try and add that into their list of supported systems. So it's really important that the email contains a tracking number and the details of the recipient. Because if you just have a tracking number, how do you know which order it goes to? You have to have the name or the address so that you can identify them and link them on eBay. Okay? Sweet. And I know that... Um, I know that these guys are going to be on point. They are really talented, and I trust them. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing a video about this, showing you guys and recommending them. Um, let's see, anything else? I think that's everything. So they have, what's their support page look like? Okay, cool, so you can make a support ticket. That's always good. Um, dashboard account instructions, awesome, that's everything. So the one thing to notice is that when you sign up, do you make sure that uh, it is at the moment? I'll talk to Sylvan about this. Um, but the home page, like this area, the dashboard, I don't think that there's a way to get here from the registration website. Like if we go to update duck, update duck.com, was that right? Or is it something else? Yeah, if we go to update duck.com, and then we go, like, how do we log in? I don't think there is a login page here, as far as I know. 
So that, that's the only thing. And then I'll, I'll talk to Sylvan. I'm sure he'll fix that real quick. Um, but all, all you need to do is go right before update dot type system dot update dot dot com. And then this is going to uh, take you to the login page. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll give you more updates about how this is going, but I expect everything to be fine. And mostly because I'm not saying there won't be issues, but I know the team behind this, and I know that they will work to resolve issues. They're not just making this look fancy and then ditching it. Like, they're serious, and they know what they're doing, and I trust them. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.